You guys looking for a tool to get your white balance perfect in your videos without having to hassle with changing your white balance and trying to adjust it and get it perfect the metric lights or whatever or you know you need to know what color temperature your lights are or this and that I have an easy step for you and it all comes in a nice round package What's up guys, and today I'm kind of going over how I typically white balance my Sony a7 III. I can't take a lot of credit for finding this nice little thing, but I gotta give a big shout out to I am Jason Anthony. Man, that guy has got some great content. If you haven't seen any of his videos and you haven't heard of him, you gotta you know, check him out up here in the description above. I'll, I'll throw a little card up there and I'll put a link down in the description of the video. I've run into him on the on the A7 III forums and Facebook, and I've watched a lot of his videos. The guy just puts out awesome stuff, and he mentioned how he white balances his camera with these Gary Fong gray card and white card things, but well, not really this. We mainly just use the gray card because it's just easy. And if you have a Sony camera that has the custom white balance, you can just literally just hold it up where you're gonna be sitting. So uh, if I was shooting here, I'd hold it kind of like, try to hold the car right here, get out of the frame or reach around and take a custom uh, picture of it, which is super easy. You just scroll down all the way to the bottom of the menu on the Sony, um, hit that custom white balance. It shows a little circle on the screen and you press the button again with this in the middle of that circle and boom. You got your custom white balance. Just make sure you take the picture in the exact same, you know, setting that you're going to be shooting the video in. And that's how I always do my custom white balance when I'm out doing real estate client work. When I'm in here in the studio on YouTube filming a video, I always use this just just to make sure that that white balance is perfect. And that, that's a way less ha headache in, in post I'm trying to you know adjust all the colors. This typically gets me close enough where I don't have to worry about it. And like I said, I just use the gray one all the time. And um, this has been a great $25 investment. I mean, $25 is like nothing. Um, and so just go out there and grab you one. I mean, I'm not asking you to spend $100, but yeah, it, this will this will make your life a lot easier as far as, far as white balancing. I mean, sure, you can get a, a gray card, but the nice thing supposedly about this kit is because it's round, the light hits it at you know all the different areas, and it's not just focusing on one flat surface. So you're kind of getting have a you know, the, the true way the light would hit your skin, and so that's why I, I like this. That's why I use this. It's not too expensive. I can just throw it in my camera bag, and I've got it for all my shoots. This has been a nice little short video on the Gary Fong, and that's how I do my custom white balance on my Sony a7 III and you should try it. If you like the video here today, you know, subscribe, I'd love to have you do all those fun youtube -y things and guys, don't forget, I will see you in the future. Do I look like the fly? Jeff Goldblum kind of going crazy at the end? <laughs>